how to add natural lighting using HDR images in V-Ray 5. What's up guys, Idan here from ArcVis Champ, the best place to learn the ArcVis biz. Let's dive right into the lesson. Alright, so I got this lovely house here that I made for a client of mine recently. And uh, let's see how we can add some great natural lighting to this exterior scene. So in order to do this, we need first to get us some HDR images. There are actually tons of sites you can get some HDRIs for your scene, but I really like to use a site called HDR Heaven, which is totally free and very high quality images. So we can go to the HDRI section and search for the right one. So let's start with basic clear sky image. We can go over here to outdoor and select the sun category. We have tons of options to choose from. There is a render preview for each image so you can actually anticipate the shadow effect that you will get. So let's go with this one. If I click on it, you can see how the shadows will turn out in our render. You can also take a look inside the image. You have all kinds of resolution to choose from. I think going with 4K should be enough. So now back to our 3D Max. Let's open the material editor and we need to insert new V-Ray bitmap. In older version of V-Ray, you would actually search for V-Ray HDRI, but in the new V-Ray 5, you only get the V-Ray bitmap, which is actually the same. So let's drag it. Now we need to load our HDR image. Next, we need to change the mapping type to spherical. So the map will be mapped like a dome on top of our scene. From here, we can actually move the map directly to the environment slot or we can create a V-Ray dome light and add the texture to it. Both gonna give you the same result at the end, but if you add it directly to the environment map, the render will be a little bit slower. So we're not gonna do that. We're gonna add new V-Ray dome light, dome. Let's add it to our scene, go to the modify and drag it as an instance. I'm going to hide all the vegetation just to get fast render. So let's go to the forest, hide all and let's make a test render. Now we can see that our render looks too dark at the moment. So we have several options to deal with this. We can either go to our camera and bump up the exposure or we can increase the V-Ray dome light multiplier or the third option is to go to our HDR image and bump up the overall multiplier or the render multiplier. So I'm going to bump up the texture itself. Let's make it two. Okay, so I will go with 20 for now and I want to change the sun direction. So to do so, we need to change the horizontal rotation or we can even rotate the light dome. But first we need to go to the dome light settings and tick the lock texture to icon. So now whenever I'm rotating the dome light on the Z axis, it also changes the rotation of the map itself. Now notice these strong shadows we get from this great HDR image. If you're trying to get strong shadows but your image is not producing it, don't attempt to add a V-Ray Sun to the scene in order to strengthen the shadows. You just need to select different HDR image with better quality and with clear sun in the sky. Let's try a different lighting. Let's go again to HDR Heaven. Let's go with this one. 
Okay. Okay, this looks very nice. Now, if you want to make the map a little bit more contrasty to get better shadows and add more color to the image, you can lower the inverse gamma. So by doing so, we are actually increasing the contrast of the image. So let's make it 0.8. So now you can see the light became stronger we have more color coming from the sun in that case we maybe we want to decrease the overall multiplier just to compensate and we can also change it some more by adding color correction on top of our hdr image so let's go to the general tab and i'm gonna add color correction keep the old map and from here I can shift the hue and the saturation. Maybe just a little bit like so, make it more yellowish. And maybe reduce a bit the saturation. Like so. You can implement this technique for exterior or interior scene and even as a virtual studio lighting setup. Just make sure to use good quality HDR images. Click like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.